girls who are trying to fit into the social norm like squeezing in last year's prom dress. I know girls who are low rise, Mac eyeshadow, and binge drinking. I know girls that wonder if they're disaster and sexy enough to fit in. I know girls who are fleeing bombs from the mosques of their skin, playing Russian roulette with death. It's never easy to accept that our bodies are fallible and flawed. When do we draw the line? When the knife hits the skin, isn't it the same thing as purging because we're so obsessed with death? Some women just have more guts than others. The funny thing is women like us don't shoot. We swallow pills, still wanting to be beautiful at the morgue, still proceeding to put on makeup, still hoping that the mortician finds us sexy and attractive. We might as well be buried with our shoes and handbags and scarves. Girls, we flirt with death every time we etch a new tally mark into our skin. I know how to split my wrists to reveal a battlefield too, but the time has come for us to reclaim our bodies. Our bodies deserve more than to be war-torn and collateral, offering this as a pathetic means to say, I only know how to exist when I am wanted. Girls like us are hardly ever wanted, you know. Try this. Take your hands over your bumpy love body naked. And remember the first time you touch someone with the sole purpose of learning all of them. Touch them because the light was pretty on them. And the dust and the sunlight danced the way your heart did. Touch yourself with a purpose. Your body is the most beautiful royal. Fathers and uncles are not claiming your knife anymore. Are not your razor. Put the sharpness back. Lay your hands flat and feel the surface of scarred skin. I once touched a tree with charred limbs. The stump was still breathing. You are worth more than who you attract. You are worth more than a waistline. Reborn.